Hello budget friends, this is Ella from Budget Together. If you're new to the channel, this channel mainly focuses on um, my personal finance, investments, expenses, retirement fund, paying off debt. And by the way, on paying off debt. And by the way, I will uh, mention to you that I have a website. It's budgettogether.net. So for today, I am going to do my actual budget, which uh, the paycheck comes from September 2021 and for the budget of October 2021. So let us start. For my retirement, uh, by the way, I only received 39,310. It's far from what I've expected, 42,776 because um, I just, I started with the company September 6. So I don't have pay from September 1, 2, and 3. And our payroll is until September 27 because 28, 29, 30 will be on the next paycheck. So anyway, so now, since I only got 39,310, I've allocated, I've allocated stocks for only 300, COL for only 300, for crypto, only 300, for MP2A, 300 only. For MP2B, 300. And for FICO, 500. For a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If 1, 5 plus 5, 2,000. So, by the way, go. let's go to the bills. I have paid... I have paid 13,300 and mortgage is 7,200. So for my cash expenses, cash expenses is um, transportation will get 2200 even though i'm working from home i still allocate transportation food instead of 3500 it's it's not just food food electricity water whatever like because i'm i am staying with my parents so i gave them 4000 for the rent i gave my grandfather 1000 miscellaneous is still 2000 Pet is 1,000. Spending is 1,500. For my sinking funds, emergency fund 100. I mean 1,000. AA for my boyfriend 500. Future instead of 1,500, this will only be getting 1,000. Travel instead of getting 1,500, will only get 1,000. Christmas. Uh, it's 1,000 in my budget. Now, I will give it 1,000. For my parents, um, 500. And lastly, for my electronics, 500 as well. For the total of 4,500. Okay. By the way, um, before I proceed with my, uh, with my cash stuffing, the bills 13300 i already paid that mortgage i've already paid that through online and then this food electricity water whatever it's 4000 i've already gave it this to my mother the rent i've already gave this to my grandfather so for the pet because as you know i still owe 3000 for that so the pet my 1000 i deposited the 1000 from my account so 1000 and then i have a, a deduction of 3045 now the deduction will be 2045 
So, I intend to pay this two more months. So, hopefully, by December, that's the only time I can buy food. And I hope that the food will last until, by, until that time. So, um, alright. So, let's go now to my cash stuffing. So, let's go now to cash stuffing. Um, I've seen a lot of videos and uh, they have their money tray. Okay, I'll just do this like this. So yeah, I know this money, this cash, this bill, these bills are not that pretty. So yeah let us i think everything is on frame okay so let's start for um huh. all right for stocks okay i prefer to put the retirement fund in front but i think next time i will move the bills this bills to I will move this bills to this in this category and then move everything down so let's start for stocks we have 300 one two three And um, what? And I made this. See, I just made it like that. It's a paper pad, and then I just uh, because I really don't have any access on printer now. So three hundred. Nine thirty twenty one salary plus three hundred balance is three hundred. Next is COL. Are done with stocks next okay. next is col 300 so one two three Plus three hundred. It's three hundred. Okay. That's for COL. And uh, for crypto. By the way, guys, if you're in Instagram, please add me. Um, budget together PH for crypto. One, two, three. And because sometimes I share where do I like currently I have crypto, Bitcoin. Um, did I write? I have Bitcoin, I have XRP, 930, 21 salary plus 300 so it's a total of 300 so i also share um an instagram where do i place my bitcoin which earns interest not just sitting on the account by the way i am using binance so if you 
want to open a bitcoin i have a link down on the description below mp2a one two three for mp2 um every time you're going to like deposit an amount in here there is a charge of five five pesos for every transaction salary 300 and i think i'm going to put this money by december and i um i will be going to start working for an mp2 like i have two mp2s now but for next year i will open another one and i will call it mp2c mp2b will get 300 two, three. so i don't really save i invest them the the only thing that i'm saving for is my um, emergency fund Thirty twenty one salary plus three hundred three hundred. So okay, as you can see, I have um MP two. By the way, my MP two this A will be uh due. I can I will be able to get the money on year twenty twenty five. MP2B year February 2026 and and this MP2C I will open it next year uh, because um, you can only have until you can MP2 will only be until five years and um, you can have maximum of five MP2 accounts so I decided to open each year so that every five years there I have an, uh, an amount that will be due so it's by that time i would probably roll over it or do something with it but for now i won't be putting anything on it um my fico fico is 500 by the way i'm also doing a 12 month challenge i will explain this to you on this on this because the the 12 month challenge is in my is in this um, binder so I will be sh sharing how do I do my um, I did this before like two years ago but um, at that time it was per week now because I've on I only earn like, have my salary every month then I'm doing it every month because it's difficult to have it on a weekly basis so SSS Peso Fund won't get anything. So this is my 12 month challenge. So I will tell you about it after this cash stuffing. So let's go now to my cash expenses. First, um, let's go to transportation. Transportation will get 2,200. So 200 one two so like that so this is check and you all know that i have a new setup for the way i set up my emergency fund so first of all um i owe my emergency fund seven um eight thousand three hundred ninety four point seventy five and um uh i divided it to set 12 payments um, I've got uh, and how do I call this I got an Iwata air cooler for the price of 7995 I charged myself 5% because I used the money from my emergency fund so um, 400 so it's now 8394 now I if I divided that to 12 months um 12 months payment each month i need to pay 700 so for this one if i pay 700 the balance for this okay i will put here september paid september 2021 paid 
and then there's a balance um i will put it next time because i don't have the calculator with me and um going to this one on this emergency fund um how do you call this table i will put here 700 for iwata and the remaining 1500 will go to to emergency fund so this transportation since i'm charging myself transportation cost and i have to uh use an, an air cooler for for me to work because i'm currently working from home so i will uh use the money for my transportation to pay for my iwata and the remaining 1500 i will save this for, as uh for my emergency fund because currently i i i need to save for my emergency fund aggressively so emergency fund this will go to emergency fund so the emergency fund i currently have 1840 in my account so 930 21 salary i will say iwata 1 over 12 700 and um from transpo 1500 so it would be a total of 2200 okay so yeah so next expenses next is for my miscellaneous 2000 so 2000 for miscellaneous one two uh, one two is 1000 and then one two three four five 500 6 7 8 3 4 5 is it 5 okay. so it's 100 So this is would be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, one, five, one, six, one, seven, one, eight, one, nine, two thousand. Okay. For my uh, miscellaneous, I owe my account 1,098. Miscellaneous is way right here. 1,098. So it would be like September 30, 21 salary. Last 2,000. This will be uh 902 okay so i will get the 1098 i will give that account so i will put here the the how do you call the change so the change now we is 902 the 902 so that's two three four five six seven eight nine hundred two okay
Okay. For my pet, I won't update this. Um, I will not be updating it now for my miscellaneous because I think that uh, I'm still going to buy something. So something meaning I I'm like I like hoarding. So I hoard, especially if it's on a discounted price and I'm using it continuously. So. I like to hoard stuff. So back when I I don't have a job six months ago, I used up all my um, miscellaneous, my toiletries, my lotion. I guess I hoard lotion, moisturizer, shampoo, soap, conditioner. So I also like um, oils, like massage oils. So I hoard that. So. I was able to consume it because I hoard that much. So right now I am filling in some lotion, like I'm buying some lotion because I don't have any lotion anymore. So, so that's why I kept on buying stuff in a small quantity because um, whenever I go to Landmark, I see to it that I buy something because Landmark has a one of the. Ch I think I for myself I think that they have the one of the cheapest prices compared with SM but I think the cheapest one is cheaper than landmark is cash and carry so cash and carry so far from uh, our home so I whenever I go to landmark I always buy stuff stuff meaning like my, my for me my basic needs like uh, lotion shampoo air condition um, hair conditioner and then moisturizer so for moisture I, I really have I have a very simple routine so I don't spend that much on um, moisturizer or yeah I, I only use moisturizer and some BB cream for whenever I go whenever I go when I whenever I work because I constantly facing or like facing at the laptop and the monitor so 12 to 13 hours in a day so that's why i need bb cream and what else so that's that pet i already have uh, i already deducted that i don't i will not put money to pet because i still owe my account and my pet has a lot of stuff yet so spending 1500 1500 Okay, I will 1,500. I will set this aside. Where will I set this aside? Here. Okay, so next item for our sinking funds. My sinking funds is. My sinking funds is 1,000. So this will be added. One thousand. So from the salary, one thousand. Now it's two. Okay, I will total this one. <laughs> on another video because i i for this video i just wanted it to be an actual budget and um what else and um cash stuffing so yeah here salary 1000 so it's 3200 So it's like this. Okay. Let's go now to the next item. 
item is I'm still on the frame still on the frame okay next item is um, AA my boyfriend he will get 500 Future 1000 here. Future. Okay, this is my um my my format before nine thirty salary. I um one thousand balance is one thousand. So this is my format before so I don't have any access anymore so I'll be using um, the the one that I made manually next item is travel and it travel gets 1,000 1,000 Okay, September 30, 2021 salary plus 1,000. Okay, next item, Christmas, 1,000. Okay, let's move this up. Okay. Everything is on frame now. Okay. Um, where am I? Christmas. Christmas gets one thousand. Christmas. I honestly got everything except for my family, for like my parents. So I have to save up for career fee, career services, because I'll be sending some gifts to the province. So it's for that purpose also. Parents, five hundred. One. I think I withdraw lesser money probably. Let us see. I still have electronics in the last car in the last category. My parents I have five hundred. I am saving for their um how do you call this? I am saving for their annual physical exam. Salary five hundred. So yeah, uh -huh. you know it's hard to like for especially if you're a senior citizen now, um, because the health insurance will only 
they only have until at the age of 65. Other insurances, they offer what um, at the, until the age of 70. But the way they charge you with, uh, not charge you, like the way you can reimburse is upon like an on actual cost. But you have to shell out 10% every time if there's a hospitalization but they the, the insu that insurance um, doesn't include the annual physical exam so only for hospitalization so I'm look I, I'm my friend is looking for an insurance but I can't advise her of anything um, for her senior parents because I think I told her that the main or one of the reasons not reason but one of the thing that you should also be considering is uh, you have to do an annual physical exam to your parents yearly and i think uh, manila doctor has a package of twenty thousand per senior citizen it's already discounted so yeah yeah it's it's hard like when my parents um retired or now that they're on their 60s I realized that, yeah, what um, what would be your source of income if you don't have any business or anything. So going back, electronics, last category, which is, I think I missed, I think I withdraw a smaller amount. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I withdraw a smaller amount. This is only 200. Let me do what? Okay, let me exchange this. Missing 300. Yeah. So this is for electronics. Um, I need to save up for cell phone. You know, because cell phone is very important. It's not that I'm doing a TikTok or anything. It's just, it's really, it's a necessity now for work. September 30, 21 salary. And cell phones are expensive. Okay, 500. Okay. Okay, so we are done with stuffing. Okay. Now let's go now to my um, 12 month challenge. For my 12 month challenge, okay, I will be in this second. Okay, I've decided to um, because I'm still like adjusting now. Um, okay, what what is in here? I have to do a draw lots so for every draw lot there's a corresponding number so it's 1 to 12 so for 1 to 12 like for example if I pick up 8 it would be 800 so here there is all I already assigned September and October to be 100 and 200 respectively this one this 3 to 12 I will start doing the draw lots by November paycheck. I need to adjust for this paycheck and for next month paycheck because I am saving up for my birthday for next month. So yeah, so I will be using that money to buy food. So right now I will be doing this uh, 12 month challenge but only 100 for September. So this is my spending money. I will use that for this. Okay, so it would be 100. So I will put it in here. As you can see, I have purposes written on it. By the end of this challenge, I will be able to get, I will be able to save up 7,800. I might use it for emergency fund, travel, future, SSO, special fund. I divide the money to, to that categories. But um, like I told you before, I did the um, challenge, 52 week challenge before. Do, doing draw lots again. Doing draw lots also um, each, each week. 
I was able to save up money and I used the money to for travel when I went to Japan so yeah so anyway guys this is the end of my video I, if you have any questions please comment them down below um, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and please like this video share this video and thank you everyone that this channel is growing and thank you also for all your comments i am um, thank you for subscribing also in my instagram and to my um, facebook account facebook page so um i'll see you guys next time and you guys stay safe bye